currently here at um, Brisbane Cruise Terminal. Yes. This is the, the current, current one. one. It's actually one that's being constructed right over there, over there, yeah. far away. About we went there earlier, but it's still under construction and we don't know when it's going to be finished. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year. And it's going to be bigger and better. Over there until over around here. here. That's basically where the cruise ship sits. And um, yeah, because cruise ships are really huge and all that. So um, They basically cover the entire place here. When they are here. When they are here. There's none at the moment. They're out in the sea. Yeah, so friends and families, if you ever go on a cruise and dock here in Brisbane, please let us know, okay? So we yes. can give you a tour around Brisbane or yes. Sunshine Coast or wherever you want. Speaking of cruises, let's talk about cruises. So guys, last February when we went on a cruise, that was our first cruise experience, um, a lot of our friends have asked, especially the Filipino ones have asked, why are we going on a cruise when it's really just for old people? Personally, we really didn't believe them because based on what we researched, what we looked at um, about cruises before we went on one, it kind of depends on which cruise ship you're going on because each ship offers different things, different activities, different experiences. So the cruise ship that we sailed with last February was Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas and we are going to be sharing 15 things that you can do on this particular cruise ship. Disclaimer guys, um, these are old videos of ours because you know we did it in February so some of the videos might be a bit shaky. We didn't have a stabilizer back then so anyway still enjoy the video. There's a lot of lounges and areas where you can relax, chill, lounge, sunbathe, whatever floats your boat. In this deck there's also free soft served ice cream and there are pools wherein you can splash around and have a swim. They have a lounge where you can play board games, read books, and a few computers which you can use to browse the internet at sea. If you like games of chance and taking risks, then go to the casino. Enjoy the huge selection of game machines and video games in the arcade. There is a wall climbing area. Dare to climb the wall and try to ring the bells on the halfway mark and the top. Grab the family and play a game of mini golf in the considerably huge course that they have on deck. Try to score a hole in one. If you want a more active game, then try playing basketball. They have a full court. Grab some friends and play some hoops, even if you don't know how to play. You can also play table tennis as they have a few tables for everyone to use. If you are a pro at surfing or you have never surfed before, it is still fun to try out the flow rider. Put your balancing skills to the test and see if you flow or you flop. Eat! 
part of what you pay for in the cruise is free breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There is a free buffet area and there are also specialty dining areas wherein you do have to pay extra to eat there. You can pay extra to do a galley tour and see what happens behind the scenes when the crew prepares the meals for thousands of guests aboard the cruise ship. They reward your interest in their job at the end by serving you a special lunch buffet only for those who participated in the tour. You gotta try and burn those calories after you have eaten so much, right? Might as well do it with a view. Get your groove on and enjoy another fun way to stay fit. Attend various dance classes of different dance genres that they offer all over the ship. The ship also offers huge shows and production numbers. We couldn't take too much videos because we were too busy finding seats, enjoying the show with our own eyes, and basically just being awestruck by the amazing performances. It was definitely memorable. Put your hands up in the air and party all night. Almost every night there is a huge dance party at different areas of the ship that serve as a great finale for the day.
this is a bonus because you can't really do this on the ship. But when you go on cruises, the ship docks at various countries and you have the option to disembark and do a quick tour of the country. We were able to see Singapore, Thailand, and Malaysia in three days. On our next video, we will be showing the whole cruise trip. So guys, those are just 15 things that you can do with Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas. There are heaps more that we were not able to include, but one thing's for sure, and I know for a fact as a travel agent, that cruises are not just for old people. Some cruises offer educational experiences, and then there's lots of pampering like spas, massages, and all that. Other cruises also offer experiences for the whole family. There'll be shows, there'll be zip lines, water rides slides, and all that. water slides, yeah. And lots and lots of activities. So don't just assume guys, if you really want to go on a cruise, go for it. Do your research and go for it. So that's all for today. Like the video if you got something out of it. If you have any questions or anything about cruise or if you feel like going on one someday or one of these days and you wanted to know something, don't forget to comment. Subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't yet and share with your families and friends. And don't forget to click that notification bell, please. Share with your friends and families and acquaintances. Whoever wants to go on a cruise, let them know about this video and especially when they want to cruise with Royal Caribbean Voyager of the Seas. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching. Bye! Bye.